Hello everyone, I just wanted to show my build of the Heaving T2 Cruiser, uh, mainly the electronics part, how everything is connected and uh, what parts did I use. So basically inside the T2 I used the SpeedyB F405 Wing Flight Controller that uh, I have used in many of my previous builds and it showed really re reliable until now so uh, apart from it I use uh, Flywu Goku GM10 V3 GPS Radio Master uh, RP3 Diversity ELRS receiver and uh, on the front is the DJI Vista with the WTF firmware, but I will probably replace it sometime with the O3 system. So basically the idea was to modify as little as possible of the original T2 setup. So I used the, uh, the PDB that was supplied with the T2 there uh, the flight controller is mounted to the PDB with the 3M double sided tape and uh, just there is a zip tie around the PDB and flight controller but I never had the 3M double sided tape fail on me just wanted to make sure that it would survive hard crashes and not, let's say, detach. The USB port is connected with, uh, is uh, also taped to the, just to the side of the, the foam with the same double-sided tape. It's very light and very secure, I think. The rudder and the eleven servos are uh, connected to the flight controller using the stock cables just it there in servo 3 and uh, in s3 and s6 ports on the flight controller so they use the 5 volts from the flight controller the vista and gps are connected with the cables that came with the, the speedb so nothing to it there uh, the vista cable is just rooted under the battery tray i 3d printed the larger version of the battery tray the one that came with the t2 was rather small to accept larger batteries so uh, the the original pdb cable uh, power cable that connects the PDB to the battery. I used it uh, to connect it to the flight controller. There is a, I soldered a cable with the XT60 connector uh, to the ESC pads on the flight controller and that connected it to the cable from the PDB. So that was not modified. The flight controller is oriented correctly, front to back. There was no need to put it uh, sideways. There is enough room in the front and in the back uh, between the spars and the flight controllers. The cables are not touching anything and it's very easy to remove the spars when you're detaching the wings. So uh, I had no problem with that. The, the cables are routed beneath uh, for the ESC and all the other stuff from the PDB are routed way below the, the spars so there is no problem with that either. This is the only piece of uh, T2 cruiser that was modified for this build. Uh, there are two cables with JST4 pin connectors uh, that come with the T2 I, uh, that uh, go through from uh, PDB uh, to uh, ESC connection and to the um, uh, aileron connection. Uh, 
uh, for servers for ailerons. Uh, now they are. Uh, I have removed the red wire that uh, supplies five volts from the um, PDB to the receiver because you don't want to uh, route five volts from the PDB to five volts pads on the flight controller. So I have uh, removed the, the red wire for the five volts, uh, split the ground to the two uh, three pin DuPont connectors and uh, separated uh, each ESC to uh, to connector. Uh, in the original setup, uh, the, the both signal wires were joined to the single pin, but I have uh, split them to to two separate uh, connectors. So you can uh, connect uh, each ESC, so, so you can control each ESC and uh, each eleven servo separately from the flight co uh, controller. So that's basically the only modification that was done. Uh, and if you need, you can buy the original cables very cheaply. They are just a few bucks on uh, Hewing site. Uh, so on the flight controller, ESC, left ESC is on the S1, right ESC is on S2, uh, aileron is on S3, right uh, left aileron is S4, uh, right one is uh, S5, and the uh, rudder is S6. That's the default I have uh, pinout. So. Um, the rudder and the L1 are connected to the 5 volts on the flight controller and the ailerons, uh, aileron servos uh, get the 5 volts from the PDB. Uh, so basically um, you have enough uh, current left on both uh, flight controller and ESC to add whatever you like. The Flywheel GM10 GPS is in the upper, in the, in the back uh, lid and uh, it's very snug fit. I think I put a bit of hot glue but there was no need, it's really hard to, to remove. Uh, the Radio Master uh, RP3 ELS receiver is just in the back uh, vent it's pretty small it fits nicely and i just uh, rooted the antennas to the sides 